All right, division law number two. All right, so where we have something with a base raised to a power and we divide it by something with the same base to a power, we subtract our indexes from each other. Okay, so example, f to the power seven divided by f cubed, so look, I'm just here. We take f and we do the seven subtract the three to leave us with four, okay? You talk me through a couple down here now g to the power of 7 divided by g cubed. Explain what we're doing. Have we got the same base? Yes. Okay. What, what can we do with the 7 and the 3? 7 minus 3. Which is? 5, 4. 4, good job. Okay. Same again. Uh, we've got 12 q to the power of 6 divided by 6 q to the power of 3. What do we do first? Uh, you divide 6 by 12. Okay, yeah. So we can also set it up like this. Because it's a division, we can also set it up as something like this. Can't we? Yep. So now what we've got is we've got our normal integers here to look at first. Then we come across and look at our Q parts. Okay, and we do each individually. So what's 12 divided by 6? 12 divided by 6 is 4. 2. 2, well done. Q to the power of 6 divided by Q cubed. What do we do to the indexes? We? 3 minus 6. Which is? It's 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. Cool. 2Q to the power of 3. 